One other thing that we learn about this woman called Jael is that she had the ability to use the tools that God had given unto her. This tent that we see the killing of Sisera taking place was a tent of a woman. And so it is apparently clear that there was no sword there, there was no arrow there, there were no spears there, there was no even a club. This woman looked around and maybe it would be the reason why Sisera felt safe knowing that in this tent there is no spear, there is nothing that can be used to finish me. But guess what? This woman was very innovative. She used what she had. She took the tent peg because it was in the tent and the hammer. And that is what she used to kill Sisera. Anytime you move, understand, God has given and wired you with the tools that you need. The Bible says his divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness. All the solutions you're looking for, everything that you want that will take it and propel you to the next level is not far from you. You already have it. God has wired you with it. Look at David. When David was fighting Goliath, the stone was just where he was. For the Bible says he picked the stone, 1 Kings chapter 17, that was just there. Look at Samson. When the, he gets into a place where the Philistines come against him, a thousand of them, he took a jawbone that was next to him. And he used the jawbone to kill those many Philistines, a great army of Philistines. Look at the woman in 1 Kings chapter 4. When she's going to the prophet and saying, I'm in debt, the prophet is asking her, what is in your house? And she said, I only have a cruise of oil. And he said, go, borrow vessels, pour. All what she needed to come out of debt was already in her house. Look at the widow of Zerophath. When she's saying, I'm going to cook and die, all what she needed to be alive and to stay alive was also in the house. The jar of oil and the cruise of flour, it was in the house. Every day, God equips us with what we need to succeed in that day. And I want to tell you today, please, don't abuse what God has given unto you in the quest of looking for what you think you need. God has already given you what you need to make it. God has already given you what you require to succeed. And this is what you need to do. Use the tools that God has given unto you. Check within you. Check around you. You will realize the person that needs to take you to the next place is there. The person that needs to connect you to the next level is there. Everything you require, God has already provided for you. So please, may your eyes open like the way the eyes of Haggai open. And Haggai realized that there was a well. And she took water from that place, gave it to the son, and the son Ishmael did not die. Why? Because everything you require is already provided for. So I encourage you today, use that tool. It's in your brain, it's in your heart, it's in your gift, it's in your social life. It is where you are. God has already provided and you will have success. God bless you and walk in the spirit of Jael.